Now, set things might sound a little bit weird because of the way I'm sitting on my computer. Lamentapod! <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Well, I had a bit of a cold. No, it's just a cough. Hello, Metapod! Oh my. This is a strong Metapod. And it's using moves to increase its defense. Dear God. I'm never going to beat this Metapod. We were already evenly matched, and now he's using a Harden! Goodbye, Metapod. Got away safely! Now, as I recall, there are kids over there that are battling so you can't get through. So you gotta take the long route. Thank God, something interesting on Pidgey. It's a shame you don't fight a Grass-type gym early on in this game, because Pidgey would make that extremely easy. I like how later games attempted to replace, like, all the Pokémon, while Gold and Silver just sort of were content to use old and new Pokémon. They had Pidgeys and Pikachus, but they also had Sentrets and Hoppips. Flame grew to level 6! Flame learned Smokescreen. No, I'm not purposefully being sarcastic. I guess I am purposefully being sarcastic. No, the point of it all, though, is I love Pokémon. I love it dearly. But... There's a limit to how many times you can see Poke insert name here leveled up before you start feeling rather cynical about it. Here is the Pokemon Professor and Pokemon. Professor Elm said you would visit. I love that weird glitchy looking thing on the floor. I think that's supposed to be a rug or carpet or something. It just looks like random pixels. Professor Oak always looks so pissed off. Look at that, he's like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. He looks all mad. And it's not Mr. Poke... It's not Pokemon, it's Puff... It's Mr. Pokemon. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see! Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Allen gave you this... Gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Allen and I, Pokémon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokémon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See? This is the latest version of Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. Is that weird looking thing on the table the Pokédex? No, I guess not. I think it would have vanished if it was the Pokedex. But then again, this is Pokemon Gold and Silver, and not Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Black 2. Those games, those games rock. And X and Y look like they're going to be insanely good. Of course, they might suck, but I'm seriously hoping they'll be good. A whole pile of strange coins! Maybe they're from another country! So yeah, I guess it's got to be rug. Professor M. H Hello? Obelisk? It's a disaster! Uh, um, it's just terrible! What should I do? It- Oh no! Please get back here now! Click. I love that they have to put in click. It's like, we don't recognize that he hung up. They have to make it go click. Who are you, kid? You're just gonna tell me about Mr. Pokemon's house. I thought you served some useful purpose. 
No, I shouldn't be so mean to the poor kid. I shouldn't talk about him like he's a real person, either. Makes me sound like I'm crazy. Next thing you know, I'll be wearing a tinfoil hat. Hey, it's my rival! <laughs> you got Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. A wimp like you? <laughs> Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. I think this is the farthest that I got in my last playthrough. Question mark, question mark, question mark, wants to battle. I'm renaming him Missing now. Oh great, a totem. But what he doesn't know is the flame was leveled up more. Get him, flame. Lear? Ooh. Defense foul. I guess I could have used that on the enemy Metapod and made it possible to defeat him. Highly improbable, but possible. That was a bad idea. I'm dead. Oh, if only you could see me right now. I've got, I'm grinning like a madman. Because I know I'm going to die. And Flame is out of here. Flame fainted. <laughs> that was a waste of time. My name's... Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. He actually fainted, poor Flame. Let's check something. And Flame's back at full health! That's interesting. Okay, lady, you're kind of pathetic if you think jumping off a ledge is scary. So anyways, I think that so far this has gone pretty well, considering that I'm using a brand new recording software. Here's the policeman. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor M. Apparently it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? No, since I like since I like to keep things correct, I'm going to name him Cadno. Okay, so Cadno was in there. Thanks for helping my investigation. Um, Obelisk, this is terrible. Oh yes, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Obelisk handed the mystery egg to Professor L. <gasps> this. Is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokédex? Obelisk, is that true? That's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Obelisk, you may have what it takes to become a champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Obelisk, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. That's some pretty good advice for life. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. I received Pokeball. Not one Pokeball, not two Pokeball, just Pokeball. I mean, there he says multiple Pokeballs, but there it just says Pokeball. And people, I think that's going to wrap up our first recording session of Pokemon Gold. Thank you all for watching, this has been Obelisk LPs.